Good morning. Welcome back to Entrepreneur Country TV. I'm Julie Meyer, and this week I've been in Zagreb, Croatia, and enjoying it here with our fantastic partners on uh, the digital marketing side of Entrepreneur Country TV. Every time I go to a new location or go back to a friendly location, I like to meet with the leading entrepreneurs of that region. And so we are going to be showcasing some of the leading uh, Croatian and Balkan, Central Eastern European uh, entrepreneurs based out of Zagreb over the next couple of days. Uh, I'm super pleased to introduce to you Darko Bukovic, the, the founder, the, the host, and the, 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 the CEO of First Business Radio. Darko, good to meet with you this morning. So what you're doing with First Business Radio is a first. It is the yes. first business radio of Europe. That is an amazing, it's, it's astounding that this doesn't exist. Yes. Because we are not extension of other media or daily paper or weekly paper. We are established as a first business radio. That's, that's the difference between uh, others. And the difference is because we are not just the internet, satellite or uh, cable radio. Mm -hmm. We are also the first podcast radio on business. So every show you can hear on demand. Yeah. Because uh, uh, that's the reason why we uh, listen the entrepreneurs uh -huh. who doesn't have a time uh, uh -huh. during the day and you don't have a uh, situation that you can hear the good stuff or good uh, entrepreneurs stories. Yes. And we decide to have mm. a, a platform, a multimedia business platform on which you can hear uh, good stories or find your partners or just talk about business. Yes. That's the reason why the slogan of uh, Poslovni FM as a uh, first business radio is a sound of a good business. Yes, I love that. I love that. And, Thank you know, you. we have a lot in common philosophically because uh, we believe that if you put the entrepreneur at the heart of society, they solve problems and society benefits enormously. Not just a couple of people get wealthy, yes. but all of society benefits from uh, the wealth creation of these businesses. So we're completely aligned Thank philosophically. You. Tell our audience about you. Tell us about your your 30 year track record. Yes, that I built up to this. I started at the beginning of 90s uh, <clears throat> with the first audition in Croatian news agency. And after that, I uh, go through all the uh, businesses uh, from journalist to uh, editor. And uh, at the end, I was the deputy editor for economy of uh, whole agency. During that period, I was also a uh, PR director of the first advertising festival in Opatia, okay. uh, Festo, and also uh, advisor of Croatian entrepreneurs uh, as a hoop, as you know, organization of Croatian entrepreneurs. Okay. Last 13 years, I was director and uh, editor-in-chief of the first uh, business and economical weekly in Croatia, most significant, mm -hmm. uh, which was established 1953. So this was the first economic weekly because uh, nobody knows about that, that in former Yugoslavia you have an, on 1953 first economic and business weekly established in this region. Uh, 2006, when I uh, took place as a, as a CEO, uh, we printed that weekly in 100,000 copies. I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's the different approach to, yeah. to, to, to entrepreneurs because uh, my miss mission is uh, that we must uh, talk about it. Now, today, mainstream media or others, we, we can speak about uh, internet that we have information, mm -hmm. but basically we don't have it. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, are, uh, uh, we have a lack of information, yeah. business information. Yes. So we need something uh -huh. which we start as a first business radio yes. platform on, uh, on which we can talk about business. Yes, yes. I understand. Absolutely. Um, now, you've seen so much over those 30 years that should we interpret from the launch of First Business Radio that you are fundamentally optimistic about the role of business in society here in Croatia and in the greater region? Of course. Uh, 
last month we were in Belgrade and received the award of uh, uh, most innovative media partner in this region. Fantastic. Well done. Congratulations. So, so that, that's the kind of uh, niche, uh -huh. specialized niche, which we needed. Yeah. Because uh, mainstream media or, or internet portals uh, can see uh, entrepreneurs or uh, mm -hmm. uh, people who do the business uh, mostly through the politics mm -hmm. or crime. Yeah. We don't have it mm -hmm. in all this region. Uh, not uh, we are not specialized for that. Mm -hmm. It's all the region. Mm -hmm. We don't uh, uh, see uh, good stories yeah. because al always we think that this is a commercial. Yeah. No, it's a fundamental. Yes. It's yes. Uh, based because today uh, we know that our generation, Z generation, uh, are not uh, established themselves in the countries which they are now mm -hmm. who knows where can where they can be mm -hmm. so we are not uh, insured in pension funds in everything yeah so we must talk about it yes yes no i listen i couldn't agree more that there is uh, a lot of coverage of government the good and the bad and big business the good and the bad and there is no voice for the entrepreneur small business, which systematically is proven to be the creator of jobs. Yes. The jobs come from the small businesses, the young, fast growing, emerging businesses. And they know the most about where society is going because they spot opportunities. So I think what you're doing is, is almost social impact. I think it's social impact what you're doing. Do you know uh, data about how many entrepreneurs are in Croatia? I would love to know that. Please yeah. share that with our audience. Uh, today we have uh, 135,000 firms. Wow. Uh, uh, 330 are big ones. Okay. Middle of them is uh, 1,011. Okay. 10,000 is a small. Okay. But 101,000 are micro. Interesting. Okay. Does that mean one person or two people? Yes. Or? Yes. yes. Up to 10. Free trade, okay, up yeah, okay. to 10. Okay. And you have also uh, 80,000 craftsmen. Interesting. And 179,000 of those who are based on agriculture. Interesting. So we talk about half a million, yep. those who are connected mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. themselves or through the families mm -hmm. uh, to the business. Yes. And I can ask you uh, a question. Uh, which media they can uh, listen or read to know what they need of information. Well, and, uh, clearly it's yes. saturated. <laughs> but how many of those 500,000 do you regularly have tuning into First Business Radio? It's a difference because we, because we are uh, always on internet. Because right. we okay. have a broadcast 24-7 uh, yes. and uh, every show mm -hmm. which we uh, put is uh, during the week 28 times broadcasted. Wow. Wow. So, wow. Uh, Amazing. this is the same uh, show you, we put in a text. Right. And that's the difference between other radios. Mm -hmm. We have a text which is... Uh, uh, fully text you can uh, print it on any media or, right, or right. and you have their uh, podcast show to listen when you want or to uh, uh, put the show on offline system mm -hmm. so you can uh, listen them if you don't have internet. Understand. So it's, it's a, a, a wide approach and this uh, capillar multimediality is uh, something which we uh, prefer because mainstream media uh, put our text on their pages. Mm -hmm. So we don't uh, uh, have just those who are on our sites. Mm -hmm. We have those who are capillary uh, put into the system. Understand, understand. Now, um, are you doing something with First Business Radio that you think will be copied, imitated? Yes, uh, we start that, as I said uh, before, uh, I. I was uh, uh, 16 years in Croatian news agency. Uh, now I established uh, economy information agency mm -hmm. as a first service of original press releases and analysis. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you are entrepreneur, 
-hmm. and you want to know what happened last week or yesterday in Croatia mm -hmm. in, or in the region, mm -hmm. you must go to 50 sites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we put that on one mm -hmm. site mm -hmm. and you have original press releases from the firms, institution and that. And they are responsible for that, mm -hmm. not me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the just uh, platform. Understand. Understand. And that's something which I uh, think that uh, can be easily transformed in other countries, uh, not just from uh, uh, intellectual property rights, right, because right. Uh, I think that they need something like that. Okay. Because you don't know uh, about a lot of firms in Croatia, but if you have something on one page, mm -hmm. it's easily to, to see. Yes. Now, how much, of, uh, how much of what you do is going to naturally over time migrate into English? We have that uh, in, in our uh, uh, project, uh, but it depends on the financial. Mm -hmm. It's easy to understand. Yeah. Uh, because now it's easy to reach Bosnia, Serbia and other countries uh -huh. which uh, uh, we don't need translation. Right. right. So if we go uh, abroad, we uh, have 2020 uh, uh, the second part of the year that we have summaries of mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. articles and everything. Problem is that we have audio mm -hmm. uh, show, yeah. so it's very difficult to have a syn synchronization or titles yeah. or yeah. Uh, just text. It's a different uh, uh, when we talk about it, but uh, we are in uh, contact uh, with the uh, embassies in Zagreb, uh -huh. so we will start the several shows about uh, foreign investment in Croatia or how they being when they are entrepreneurs in Croatia. Okay. What is the, um, as you look back on your first year, what do you think is the biggest uh, contribution that you have made to the business environment? If you had to say, well, there was this one incident that happened in May or October, and that summarizes what we're doing here. We're, we're contributing this. Is there somebody who said something or something that, or was it the award? Or was award. it the, the, it was yes, the award? It was award because, you know, uh, f from the outside, you can see brightness, uh, brighter than, than you are in Croatia. Yeah. And uh, every recognition uh, outside the borders is uh, better than uh, somebody here. After that, they recognize us as uh, strongly pro-entrepreneurs media. Yeah. And that's the, that's the clue. Absolutely. Now, do you feel that you are um, establishing this pro-entrepreneur media and there's no resistance? Or do you feel that there is resistance? No, because, you know, when you... Uh, uh, look from the government side uh -huh. and from the entrepreneur side. Mm -hmm. They must talk. Yes. But uh, lack of communication is a problem. Right. Always. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have media which entrepreneur can say that government must change something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have the return that government must say what they're doing. Yes. Yes. But on the uh, entrepreneur's base. That, that's the problem. We always uh, talk about business on the other side uh, of the moon. Nobody knows <laughs> <laughs> what is in it. Right. No, that's good. It's, I like that. Now, what are, what are your goals for 2020? Oh, uh, as I said, this is a multimedia platform. So we start with the agency. Mm -hmm. We start with the Poslovny FM. We mm -hmm. start with the biz blogs, mm -hmm. uh, which are now... Uh, well done in, in this uh, uh, opportunity to speak about something which nobody talks. Mm -hmm. For example, we have uh, Liliana Kukets, she's a president of Croatian Franchise Association. Uh, we talk about EU funds and everything, but not just from the pink uh, glasses. Yeah. You know, yeah. we are uh, so thinkable about what we can doing, uh, that is the reason why we talk open. Yes. So yes. if we have problem, talk about yes. it. Yes, indeed. And the goal is uh, to establish the business television. 
Fabulous, fabulous. Yes. Well, we would love to be a partner um, and to take your business television and help promote that around the world through Entrepreneur Country TV. And I agree that it's important not to look at things through rose-colored glasses, to shine a spotlight um, and to help get the word out in a very thoughtful way. Yes. So I completely agree with your assessment. For example, uh, two funds, uh, uh, Venture Capital, came to Croatia. One is a Phil Rouge. Uh, with Stevica Kucharski and the other is uh, Social Impact Feels Good Capital. Uh -huh. And uh, both of them uh, want to uh, present their funds on uh, Poslovni FM. Yes. That, that's the reason because we speak about business. Yes, yes. And we, as we, I, I always want to say that we are PDV yeah. in Croatia. That means that we are entrepreneurs uh, uh, consultancy. Yes. Not, not the government, not yeah. the uh, organization. We are. Yes. Yeah, through the media, you can go further and further and further and get information. Excellent. Well, I couldn't agree more and I'm, I'm completely supportive. Um, is there any further information that you'd like to share with our audience? Because Entrepreneur Country TV is broadcast out to 325,000 people all over Europe and indeed the US. A lot of investors a lot of entrepreneurs and people in large companies as well. What else would you like to share with them this morning? It's simply, we are open yeah. for everything. And uh, something which are different between other medias, we want to have partners to jointly create the shows. Wonderful. Not just to be one side of uh, the moon, as I said always, yes. because we are not uh, those who want to say you must do that. Right, right. No, right. we want to have platform yes. to speak about any business. And I forgot something. Uh, in uh, On Poslovni FM, we have 14 different editors. Everybody wow. uh, have their own uh, businesses and uh, do the uh, journalist and they did uh, they was editors in a lot of uh -huh. uh, business media or uh, television or radio in Croatia yes so they know sometimes mm -hmm. much more than the mm -hmm. uh, uh, entrepreneurs who came to our shows wonderful Darko thank you so much for sharing what you are doing to shine a light and give a voice to the entrepreneurs of this region, which is so important for letting prosperity rip and growing the economy and educating people and so forth. I'm sure it's uh, very hard work. You clearly are enjoying it and I can't uh, you know, support you enough. And I, I look forward to working with you on our many you know, developments in Zagreb. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the opportunity.